guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with a haul today. It's kind of a cumulative haul. I've just been to Bath and Body Works a lot lately, picking up a lot of little random miscellaneous things here and there, so I'm gonna talk about all that stuff in this video. Mainly, though, I wanna start with the single wick candle sale that went on, um, like, what, last weekend, I think now? Um, and the main thing is the French baguette candle. So this candle has been out before, but it's been a while, and it was before my time, so I hadn't smelled it. But I do really love bread scent. So I was pretty excited. I went ahead and not ever having smelled it before, I ordered five of them. And, you know, they were like five bucks each. So that wasn't too bad. And I do love it. I do love the scent of this so much. But I was a little surprised at how much it almost exactly smelled like Kringle Candles freshly baked bread, which this is the only full-size Kringle candle I own. I've tried a lot of their scents, just little ones, and the only one I loved enough to get a whole one was their freshly baked bread. And you can't get this anymore, unfortunately, from them. But I loved this scent. And yeah, the French baguette, it smells almost exactly like it. But you know, Kringles, they're not that strong. And even the single wick French baguette, I think is maybe a little stronger than this Kringle, which is exciting. The Kringle is perhaps a little little bit more buttery than the French baguette. It just seems a little less buttery and warm, but they're really, really similar. So I have burned this a few times now. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I had a really weird thing happen with this where it tunneled so bad and it started to kind of, kind of correct. But like the second time that I lit it, I think there was an air bubble down there and all of a sudden the air bubble, it just just caved in and it got this really deep tunnel and then I let it keep going for a few hours but it still hasn't like it's just I don't know I hope it was a fluke and the other four won't burn like this but for a single wick I mean I never expect a single wick candle to fill up more than like this little office room right here you know if I put it out there it's probably not going to do much the good news is that this candle is supposed to come out in a three wick according to Bath and Body Works daily finds on Instagram on the big candle day, which is supposed to be December 1st. And historically, the candles have been anywhere between $8 and $8.95 on that day. It'll probably go up again this year. It'll probably be like $9 or nine something. But that is supposed to be the only day you can get this in a three wick. But now I'm questioning like, do I need five single wicks if I'm gonna pick up a bunch of three wicks? <laughs> I don't know, but um, if for some reason it never did come out in a three wick, then I would be glad that I got five of these little guys and might even want to get more because I really, really like it. Uh, so if I get a hold of the three wick, I'll probably do like my own individual review on it. But that's what I think of this so far. It just does smell authentically like you're baking bread. It smells like walking into a Jimmy John's is kind of what it smells like. And that's a great scent. <laughs> so I can see how some people might not be into that, but I really like it. But yeah, yeah, totally, totally smells like walking into a Jimmy John's. Oh my gosh. So that's my thought on that. Now I also picked up just one pink petal tea cake. You guys know I'm not a floral person. Never have been. Don't think I'm ever going to be. <laughs> but, um, you know, this is just a, an iconic scent for them. It's, you know, it was out many, many years ago in a little, fl well, not many, many just maybe a few years ago in like an all floral collection. I remember smelling it then and thinking it was the one I like didn't hate the most or that I liked the best, but I still didn't like it. I don't know how to put that. Um, you know, it wasn't bad because it had a little bit of that bakery cake note to balance out the floral, but it was still a floral scent and I ultimately passed. Then it came out last winter as the soft candle and people went crazy and they stocked up on it. And I smelled it again and was just like, no, nope, man, I just can't do it. It's, it's just, it's too much a uh, rose. I just, mm -mm, it's just not for me. But I decided to pick up the little one just to kind of have it in my collection, use this comparison for future candles because it is so iconic and it was only $5. So I don't know that I'll ever actually burn it. But I want to ask you guys, does it smell different to you? Because I remember smelling pink petal tea cake three wicks and getting lots of floral, but also getting a bakery note and getting a cake note. But I don't feel like I get that in this one. I feel like it just smells floral. But you know what it actually smells like to me? When I was a kid, I had this flower scented Play-Doh. And I don't think it was Play-Doh brand, but maybe it was. But it was like Play-Doh that was supposed to smell like flowers. And that's what this is reminding me of, which is not really a good thing because that Play-Doh still smelled like Play-Doh, but like also cheap flower air freshener. 
I don't know. I don't want to bash this candle too much because I know it's so many people's like favorite, 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 favorite. But I'm just wondering if, if it's just my memory, my nose. Why am I not getting the cake note in this anymore? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if I should keep it. I really, uh, it's just not my thing. That's okay. It's your thing. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, so then those are the candles. Other random things. First of all, I had to get another iridescent pedestal because these are just beautiful and I love anything iridescent. They're all a little different though. You know, when you go into the store, like the two that I have now are different. Um, just pay attention to how the iridescence is distributed. The other one that I have is like more blue through the middle and more purple at the bottom. Some of them were more like yellow or whatever. They're all a little different, but they're really, really pretty. $16.50, but obviously use a coupon. I was able because we have the app where I live. If you spend $100, you get a free item up to $16.50. So that was perfect. And I used rewards on both of those pedestals. Other places you only have to spend $75 to get a free item. So like they're still working out the kinks. Then I also got another little candle holder, just the little iridescent, like just your three wick sits in it. And uh, it's nice for if you want to display a candle. And again, I just like anything iridescent. So that one's $12.50, but it was a free item for me. And then I got, oh my God, you guys. So I do have a new car now. Uh, so, you know, my car got totaled. My 2012 Civic got totaled, so I just went and bought a 2019 Civic. Same color, same car, just a new one, same exact thing, because I love that car. And it still has new car smell, so I'm not interested in putting a scent portable disc into it right now, because the car smells good how it is. Uh, but I still had to get this holder. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> so cute and they have a little yeti pocket back holder too this guy but i think the set portable is cuter than the pocket back holder i mean i'm just obsessed i'm obsessed so i've got him in the car even though there's no like scent disc i just oh my i love him so much he's so cute i love that rudolph show you know growing up i watched that every christmas so i think that's what this is supposed to be from oh, he's so adorable oh my god um, even if you don't like scent portables, because scent portables do kind of suck. Like, the holders can be so cute. Um, what else did I get? I got a little Twisted Peppermint hand cream. Always like Twisted Peppermint. Um, that was something I just, I needed something to get to a certain amount to get a coupon or something, right? I got the gel eye mask things. They have snowflake ones, and they have unicorn ones. It says to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. I think it also says you can put it in the freezer for 15 minutes if you are extremely, if you have extremely sore eyes. And then they're just little squishy discs and they just sit on your eye. So I tried them out a couple times actually. They get pretty cold. <laughs> they were like, was like really cold on my eyeball. I do have such sore eyes and such dry eyes in the winter though. I don't know that they really help that much, but I, I wanted them. <laughs> so I got them. They're just a fun thing. Okay, here's what I really want to talk about. So they have these candle toppers. The magnet has fallen off of this one. I've got it. I've got to glue it on. My store, they have a tree, a star, and a snowflake. And my store, uh, I went in there and I asked for the tree. That was the one I really wanted. And they told me they only got one tree in and then it broke or something. So they only had stars and they had one snowflake. And I got the snowflake, but then I returned to the snowflake because I really wanted the tree. The thing about these is if you decide to pick them up, they're all sketchy. Try them out. I got one that works pretty well. You turn it on and then it just rotates through different colors. And the snowflake and the star rotated through the same colors. So on the website, they show them in different colors. But they all have the same cycle of colors. Um, I think they're really cute and everything, but some of them, like the snowflake I had, you had to like turn it only like half on, and if you turned it all the way on, it wouldn't work again, and like some of them just weren't working at all. Like this one just stopped working. See, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're cheap, and this is obviously just plastic, and it kind of looks like it's rough cut and stuff. Like up close, these are cheap, which is why they're only $5.95. Personally, I think they could have made this uh, higher quality, and it then like like the same price as like a high quality light up wallflower plug. Like they could have made like a really nice one and made it be like 12 to $14. And I probably still would have used like a free item coupon to get them or something. But instead they're, they're real cheap. They're, they're real rough. The silver is kind of like bubbling and scraping off in certain places. I mean, I still kind of want to get the tree, but I have been to two regular Bath and Body Works stores that didn't have any of these. This one I got at a white barn. So I feel like they're only in white barns right now. I might have to order the tree online if I really want it. But yeah, they're just, they're so like, like it's still on. But it's not, there we go. 
<laughs> eh, they're, they're cheap. Whatever. Okay. And then I think I've only got one more thing. So these are clearancing out now. Um, these little lip balms that are like tinted are uh, on the 50% off table, which I'm like wondering if they're going to go away forever. I really liked them. So I got a couple more. I had been using a lilac one. So I got another lilac and then I got a poppy too, which even though this one's in a red package, I feel like it still looks more pink. But I really like these because they just add a little bit of color. Um, and so it's good for like, if you just want a little color really quick, but you don't have time to like whip out a mirror and actually like you know, draw inside the lines or anything. You can just use this real quick and it just adds like a little tint, um, but enough, you know? And so I like them and they were originally 8.50, but then they're 50% off and then I had 20% off. They ended up being like three bucks each. And I was like, crap, I should have gotten even more. Um, I don't know, I hope they bring these back, but if you like them, get them now while they're on clearance because they probably aren't bringing them back. So anyway, that's everything I think. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna order that tree topper online, I think. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. If I have a reason to order things online, I will. Um, but those are my thoughts on all this stuff and uh, and on the freshly baked bread. And let me know if this pink petal tea cake single wick is the same as the three wicks. For those of you who have both, I'm really curious about that. Um, but yeah, that's it. So that's my little haul. I've got a couple more candle reviews coming up, so stay tuned because I'm going to post those soon. And uh, that's it. So you can follow me on Instagram for at Candles and Music. Instagram is where I post a lot of uh, just random things that I buy that don't warrant like an entire video. So anyway, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.